So we kind of touched on the value of a contract. We used a couple of examples with some uh, indices, I think we did with the uh, going long, going short um, application. But let's have a look at them with some of the broad things that we may trade. So equities, indices, forex, commodities. So we trade in equities. One CFD contract is going to be one share. Very, very simply put, you know, if you're buying one share of Facebook, one share of Vodafone, um, that is one CFD. It's very easy to quantify, very easy to understand. Again, one thing to the point is just to check this with your broker, double check it. But majority of the time, this is how it works. Indices like your DAO, your DAX, your FTSE, it's going to be $1, one euro, one pound per index point. So one CFD will mean that as the DAO moves up one point, you're going to make one dollar. As it moves down one point, you're going to lose one dollar. Obviously, it's based on the value of the asset at purchase and at sale, but that's an easy way of thinking about it. So one CFD, uh, and if you're the DAX, it's going to be obviously valid in euros because that's sort of the, uh, the currency of the DAX, and the FTSE is going to be in pounds. So, you know, understanding that you're sometimes trading, if you're buying a CFD or selling a CFD, if you're going short, you're sometimes trading in a different currency to the one that you have. Now, generally speaking, again, brokers are different, but they will give you the balance and they will convert it back at the um, at the current rate that they have. So if you've made you know a thousand euros, they will convert that back to your base currency, which if you're in the UK will be pounds, and you'll get credited with that. So you're still going to get you know the right amount for it but just understand that the trade will be in euros or the trade uh, profit or loss will be in pounds or uh, sorry dollars or euros depending on what you're trading or, or could be yen if you're trading the nikkei uh, or the us dollar uh, jpy or any of those kind of things uh, japanese yen currency or if you're trading a japanese um cfd uh, which has an underlying stock in the um, in the japanese stock exchange then you're going to get charged in yen or you're going to have a profit in yen but that will be converted back to your base currency so let's have a look at forex because forex is a little bit kind of confusing sometimes um it's you know because when you're basically trading the euro against the us dollar you're basically saying and this is kind of what i put here remember the fx quote it is it's how many of the second currency will one of the first buy me so let's let's kind of look at that because this is sometimes sometimes it can get a bit confusing but let's say for euro us dollar it's basically saying you know when you get the quote of us dollar so us us dollar quote may be um i don't know 1.132 it's basically saying that one euro will buy you 1.132 us dollars okay same with the pound us dollar if the pound us dollar is at 1.5 then it's basically saying that one pound will buy you $1.5. So, uh, and the same with the US dollar JPY, you know, one US dollar will buy you whatever is 110 uh, Japanese yen. So that's that's kind of what it says when you have that currency pair. So ultimately one unit is gonna be one unit of the second currency. So let's, let's go with this example here of pound US dollar. And if you buy one contract, you are basically buying one pound of your of US worth of US dollar, which is what the rate is. So if that's 1.5, you're buying you know 1.5 US dollars. So you it, you kind of have to look into it, and you kind of have to see exactly you know what the the increment move is going to mean for your position. But just to see that you will have your position will be in that currency. And it's always the second quoted currency that your position is valued in. Let's look at commodities. Commodities like gold, oil, copper, corn, um, coffee. Let's go with the seas. What else have we got? Cocoa, um, cotton. Uh, yes. Anyway, you get the idea. All the commodities out there that you can do. You've, it's, it's ultimately like one unit times your price. So if gold is at two thousand dollars, you know one CFD is going to be, you know, two thousand uh, dollars worth of gold. So you can work it out from that. So you you might obviously want to multiply that and get a decent position size. Um, the same with crude oil. You know, one unit is multiplied by the price. And again, you know, most of the most of the commodities are traded on the U.S. exchange. You know, they trade on different exchanges. They trade on the CME, the CBOT. Um, but because of because they're traded in the US, 
then they're going to be priced in dollars and not in pounds, not in euros, not in yen. So remembering again that your profit is going to be in is going to be in dollars, your loss is going to be in dollars, but it will be converted back. So it doesn't potentially matter because you're not going to gain or lose anything. But it's kind of understanding that you know, if I've got a little bit more, um, you know, the rate has changed between the pound and the dollar. I may well have a bit more exposure, a bit less in exposure than I expected. Or same with the yen. I mean, the yen is obviously like an order of magnitude of a lot of a lot more. The exchange rate being in the hundreds. Then understanding, you know, how that is going to affect your position size. You don't want to take too small a position, thinking that you're you've got more exposure than you have. Same same token, you don't want to have too much position because you've confused the way that the thing is quoted. So the kind of the best thing to do is just get yourself a demo. You know, get yourself with a with a broker that offers you a demo, and we'll talk about some of that stuff later on. Um, I know that um, just one of the companies off the top of my head, Intertrade, is a great firm and it offers a demo and you get you know there's loads of functionality there and they don't hedge uh, the orders as well so that's worth really worth checking out but you know use a demo uh, get used to it kind of trade the things that you want to be exposed to so trade your euro trade your yen trade your dow your dax and just see what happens when you trade one cfd or 10 cfds you know note it down then you can kind of get a feel of exactly how much you want to be trading when you do flip that into a real money account when you do get familiar with the platform you do get familiar with cfds and how they all work because that's really the best way you can sit here and, and and view this or you can work it all down on paper but ultimately when you see it converted from a ticket you know to a blotter and then kind of see where that happened what happened on the chart relative to that what the valuation of it was relative to what you were doing you're going to see it much more clearly so that's my advice is get yourself a demo have a little play around and see uh, you know, where you are so we just look at these examples this is like a real quick follow one here guys uh, vodafone so one contract is going to be one times 201 so it's going to be two pounds and one p uh just like buying one share one contract the dow is going to be worth a notional value of twenty thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars because that's the index value one contract of euro us dollar is going to be uh 1.0927 it's going to be ten thousand nine hundred and twenty eight dollars because that's just the way it is and you're thinking well why is that um because the contract value is not going to be one euro because you're going to end up being you know a ridiculous amount of contracts just to get a tiny little bit of move and um, don't forget you know currencies don't move that much so you know they, they, they're kind of going to round it up a little bit and give you a fair bit of bang for your buck so to speak uh, you can get like smaller contracts and again you've got to double check with your broker to see what they're offering but generally speaking that's how the valuation is going to be and commodities you know you've got one contract not one contact lens of gold one contract uh of gold and that's going to be exactly as it is one contract 12 um 156.25 so 1256 dollars and 25 cents